Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess. I recently quit my job to become a stay-at-home mom and I have a small business called Layla & Co. I have been working from, I'll just show you right here. I've been working from this spot lately because it's just the best area that I had and I need more space. I need a space that I don't have to like clean up, put away every single time. Like I have a whole table that's dedicated to my business. I'm going to be setting up a space downstairs next to my kid's playroom because I am home all day with my boys. When I'm working up here, they're just like running through the whole house. Whereas downstairs we have a playroom. If I put my workspace next to their playroom, then they can play while I work and it's just gonna work out so much better. And then the house is not gonna be like a mess. So that's kind of what's going on. Currently my small business sells personalized beaded name bracelets, but I have, well, I took the fabric downstairs already. Scrunchies will be coming to Layla & Co. very, very soon. I'm waiting on one thing to actually get it all started and going, but I'm so excited. Are you okay? I have actually like really, really fallen in love with the process of making scrunchies. That sounds so weird. I never thought I would say that. It's like really enjoyable. Honestly, it's so weird. I'm gonna set up that space today downstairs. So I'm gonna show you the before. I don't know if I'm gonna show you all the during because the boys are playing down there. It'll be wild. Um, but I'm gonna show you the before and I'll for sure show you the after and maybe I'll show you a little bit in between. I've already actually done a lot. The table's down there. I've already cleaned a bunch of stuff off. Let's go ahead and yeah, I'll just take you along with me. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it so far to help me with the algorithm and subscribe if you wanna stick around to see you know my journey through motherhood and working from home and starting a small business and uh, all that. So thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and flip. Let's, let's just go. So when you first walk down here, it's my kid's playroom. This is not gonna be glamorous by the way. Then you get to this side and this is just like a typical basement, concrete floors. Um, the walls are finished though, but this is gonna be the area. I wanna get um, a tablecloth or some sort of covering for the table, like a tight tablecloth. And this stuff will be moved. Um, this is like our food storage, freezer and all that. But anyway, this is the, this is the spot we're working with. I'm gonna try to get a desk down here too. So I'll show you how it ends up. already had to break the baby a bottle so we could take a nap so this is just work from home mom life here now back to it So I've done a little bit here. Um, I put, I just got a twin size, well I didn't get one, I already have one because I have kids that have twin size beds. But I got a twin size white sheet just to cover the table because it's not very nice looking. Um, and I am thinking, because I have these in front, I'm not gonna be able to sew right here in front. And it's just the best place to put them. I'm gonna put my sewing station right here, especially because there's a plug-in and I could sit right here and do this and I think I'm going to put my desk right here against the the day bed that's in the kids playroom so there's the kid the kids are over there so I can just like peer over there and see them he's taking a nap look at how cute he is anyway um so it's obviously not like it's obviously like not the best I'd like to put something else down besides the concrete floor but we're not going to do that because it's just unnecessary I don't need to do that this thing right here is gonna be a backdrop for photos. I won't keep this up all the time. I'm trying to, well, maybe I will, I don't know. Um, but I have kids' toys that I need to get out of this area, get them away. So this is just how it's going. Let me flip you around. I stopped to have a snack. So this is not the ideal protein bar, but I got it at the dollar store, so we're just working with it. So in here, I've got my yarn, my tools, whatever tools. 
whatever you call them for sewing. And then I have fabric that hasn't been, it's, you know, either has been cut a little bit or whatever. It's kind of nicer fabrics. And then down here I have like remnants and random pieces of fabric or clearance fabric. And then over here I have some already made scrunchies. These were all like samples and stuff. And that's what will happen in these drawers as well. These are all these scrunchies. So, oh, this down here will probably be packaging supplies for now until I get a little set up on top. So, this is where we're at right now. Not fancy, but I'm gonna try to like make it look cute at least. So like I said, nothing super special, but it's gonna be functional. So um, in here, I used to make these things. Let me just show you. I used to make these pacifier clips. Maybe I'll start making them again. Um, but I stopped. I don't know why. But these are the pacifier clips. I still have all this stuff for them, so maybe one day I'll take that up again. Then we have this here, which is where I'm keeping all the bracelet stuff. So this is just the little bits and pieces, a bunch of beads, and then more beads. Down here is just kids craft supplies. And then these are like random things, like um, resin or whatever you want to call it. What is it called? And then Mod Podge, and there's some spray paint down there. And then we have the printing section. So this is just my Canon. It's a scanner or a printer. And then I have my Cricut Maker back here. Uh, I will have to pull this out and pull, like I'll have to move this up here maybe to use the Cricut, but I don't use my Cricut very often. So it's just here. This will just move over one way or another to pull the Cricut out so it has space. I put that on the wall because I don't even know. These down here are where I'm keeping made scrunchies in here. This will be made scrunchies. And then down here is uh, packaging supplies for now. I'm gonna need more storage for packaging supplies. Uh, printer ink or any like printer type paper. So decals, cardstock, paper, and then just random bits and bobs. And then I already showed you this stuff. This is stuff for the sewing machine, thread, bobbins. Then we've got, what is this called? What the heck? Fabric, oh my gosh. And then more like not as nice fabric. This is gonna be where I sew. I'm gonna put my chair, I have a chair upstairs. I'm gonna put it right here. This is just to like write any notes down if I need to. I've got this little light here if I need extra light, which it's pretty dark down here as you can tell. Um, and then this is gonna be my backdrop for photos. I have it hung like that. Obviously for photos, I'll probably like drape it up on something like this and then take the photo like kind of at a curve so it looks just like a white backdrop. I've decided that this is all I'm gonna do down here. I do have my desk upstairs. I'm gonna go up and show you where my desk is where I do like other stuff. But this is the space. I'm thinking about getting a big rug. So at least I don't have to, it's just my eyes looking at the concrete floor. Ugh, I just don't like it. So I'll probably get a big rug, maybe even like an outdoor, like an outdoor mat or something that I'm gonna put there. But I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you my desk. So right when you come upstairs, we're in our living room and that's where my main desk is. So this is where I was doing everything between this desk and that butcher block over there and it just wasn't working out. So I think what I'm gonna do is leave this here. Downstairs will be by like my creator space or whatever, like where I create things. Up here can be where I do computer work or even pay bills or whatever, just like a normal desk. I do have my vision board already right here, my little whiteboard, but I mean, if I'm, keeping my schedule. I need to keep this up here. So this is like my planner. Usually it's on top of my desk, but it's a mess right now. I think I'm just going to leave this how it is. And I just do, hi buddy. I'll just do computer work and stuff from up here. It's about lunchtime. So I think I'm going to eat. And then I don't think I'm doing anything else with Layla and co today. Ideally, I would like to make some scrunchies or like to practice on some different fabrics that I got today at Hobby Lobby. But I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to eat and then I need to work out and um, do some things in my garage and I need to fold so many clothes. So I think I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow when I do a little bit more um, maybe creating or something else uh, pertaining to small business type stuff. But yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow.